I find this stuff fascinating and I hope you do too. That's probably why you searched and found this video. Uh, there was 10 years of continuous growth in the world of automotive production all the way until 2019 when it saw a significant decline. Uh, global production decreased more than 5% in 2019. That's when there were 92 million vehicles worldwide produced, including 67 million cars, 25 million commercial vehicles. Then a big decline continued in 2020. COVID hit and we had some issues there. In fact, the cumulative data from January 2020 through September 2020 showed a 23% decline or decrease in global automobile production compared to the same period in 2019. So here are the top five or six countries that produce the most vehicles as of 2021. I have also have some 2019 numbers for comparison. So China is the world's largest producer of vehicles. They made over 21 million cars and 4.6 million commercial vehicles in 2021. So over 26 million vehicles total. In 2019, that was the same number. And in 2019, 28% uh, of all cars and trucks were produced there. About 83% of China's production went toward making personal cars, passenger cars, while 4.3 million were for commercial use. The U.S. is the second largest producer of cars in the world, although it produces less than half of what China does. In 2021, they made more than 1.5 million cars, 7.6 million commercial vehicles. That might surprise you. In 2019, that number was 11 million cars and trucks. Still, again, the second largest in 2019, just under 12% of the market share. The big three largest manufacturers in the U.S., uh, General Motors, Ford, and Fiat Chrysler in 2021. In 2019, it was General Motors, Ford, and Toyota. Fiat Chrysler wasn't quite on that list, so they have made more cars now than they did a couple of years ago. Japan is third on the list. Last year, they made 7.85 million vehicles. A few years ago, it was uh, 9.7, so their production went down quite a bit. They still have about 10% of all vehicles made globally coming out of Japan. They had about 8.3 million passenger cars and 1.5 million commercial vehicles just a couple of years ago. A new position at number four is India as of 2021. In 2019, they were fifth, but now they're fourth. 4.4 uh, million vehicles uh, produced in India. Two years ago, it was 4.5 million, so they're down a half a million vehicles. 80% of their vehicles in India are passenger vehicles they produce, and 20% are commercial vehicles. Your new number five is South Korea. Three and a half million vehicles produced in 2021. They weren't even on the top six list a couple of years ago. Then it goes Germany at 3.31 vehicles. They are at sixth place as of 2021. In 2019, they were fourth. Uh, in 2019, they had 4.7 million vehicles produced there in the country. That was a 9% uh, decrease from the year before, so they were already on the slide going downward. Next is Mexico at 3.15 in 2021. Uh, two years ago, they had produced 3.9 million, so down quite a bit in just two years for Mexico. And rounding out the top 10, we've got Brazil at number 8, 2.25 million vehicles, Spain 2.1, and Thailand 1.69. And those are the top 10 countries that produce the most cars in the world. So, interesting numbers, right? And the fact that they're kind of going down in some countries, and they're still pretty strong in your top three, which is, again... Uh, China, America, and Japan as the countries that produce the most vehicles in the world. One final note, if you are in the market for a new vehicle soon, great. Connect with your local dealership and price and test drive at least three different vehicles. A vehicle's strengths and weaknesses can only be discovered when you are behind the wheel. My reviews can be good, but you need to test drive these yourself. Visit quotes.everymandriver.com, select the make model in your zip code, and you'll get invoice pricing in your area on those vehicles. Shop smarter with price quotes at quotes.everymandriver.com. Thanks for watching. Please cl click subscribe and give us a thumbs up. See you next time.